Previously on Game of Thrones, two kind of main portions, and they can read the rope. The same form as what lies, where we do it. You are very welcome here, Lady Stark. If Rob Stark wants a pact with us, he should come himself. My son is fighting a war, not playing. Oh, we're getting back to the war over there. Do you must give yourself to the Lord of Light. I've said the words, damn you. We've come to a dangerous place. My sister wants to help me. She can't know about you. Who are you? I'm Shamey Lady, your new handmaiden. I didn't know I needed a new handmaiden. You fought bravely today, Lady Brienne. Mm. My king. Soon I'll fight for him on the battlefield. Die for him if I must. Ah, uh, it's his head. We saw last minute. We've seen this clap set and in ages. <laughs> My brother Jamie Ross in a northern stockade. Rob Stark will never release the Kingslayer. But his mother might. How would you like to see your beloved cat again? Outside! Come here, hi! Sweet boy! Help us! Give it to me! Aye. Never should be the baby in the forest and all that. He got out of the heat. Where are we now? Well, it's got to be the mountain. He's the biggest. He's the strongest. Bulls are bigger than lions. Doesn't mean I'd pick a bull in a fight. Well, if the bull had fangs and claws, I would. Right. The mountain. Right, we're down the area. If he ever gets out. Hank. Loris Terrell? Loris Terrell. He's prettier than the Queen. I don't care about pretty. He's better with a sword than any of them. How can <laughs> he be? Okay, in the queen. He's been stabbing Renly <laughs> for years and Renly ain't dead. <laughs> the horses seem a little spooked to you. They're horses. They get stuck in their own shadows. Shh. Do you hear that? Something there. Yep. There's something out there. <laughs> I'd say they're too dying. Or probably scratches them or something. Or probably it's sorted. Try me. Renick? Yeah. I think I'm an idiot. Aye. Oh my god. Oh my flaming god, got a fright. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, that's him, dude. Oh, he's a different partner. That can be get up the roof. Five Lannis is dead for every one of ours. We've nowhere to keep all these prisoners. Barely enough food to feed our own. We're not executing prisoners, Lord Bolton. Well, of course, Your Grace. The officers will be useful. Some of them may be privy to Tywin Lannis's plans. I doubt it. Well, we learned soon enough. In my family, we say, a naked man has few secrets. A flayed man, none. My father outlaws flaying in the north. We're not in the north. We're not torturing them. The high road's very pretty, but you'll have a hard time marching your army down. 
the Lannisters hold prisoners of their own. I won't give them an excuse. Yeah, they do. Sisters. No, don't, don't. You don't have a hood face. I stuff the door. Only one. The rot set in. No, don't. No, don't. You'll get lose your foot. Please, don't. We'll get back. It doesn't even hurt. The rot will spread. If we don't take the foot now. No, you can't. Sir, please. I can't die. listen. She doesn't. I don't want to be a cripple, please. Surely one of our men needs your attention more than this cover. Your men are not my men. My lord. If it's in your mouth, you lie down. If you don't want to watch. No! You can't! Bite on it. It's better than biting your own tongue, believe me. Ah, uh, that's so nice. I did big sword. The sword. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't know why Pop God's got no bones. Your last time. Pop all the bones to collect them to do his fruits or whatever. You know my and yeah, one meat tip. So we got him. They killed my father. That boy did. The family he fights for. Do you think he's friends with King Joffrey? He's a fisherman's son that grew up near Lannisport. He probably never held a spear before they shoved one in his hands a few months ago. I have no hatred for the lad. <sighs> that should help his foot grow back. You'd have a surrender. End all this bloodshed, I understand. The country would be at peace. And life would be just under the righteous hand of good King Joffrey. You're going to kill Joffrey? If the gods give me strength. And then what? I don't know. We'll go back to Winterfell. I have no well, idea. Spoilers, if anybody's not, if I've seen Game of Thrones, Gap never. But I I, someone has spoiled it for me. It told me King. Joffrey dies in season Joffrey four of this. Him. Tell me where you're from. Volantis. Volantis? You're far from home. Harder. <laughs> the body to tell the glassy. Eh? I see. Harder. He won't need to get his money's worth. Bastard. He should die this season instead of two other bands. <laughs> Sitting in a sex slave kind of thing. Getting hotter. Is that a Brandon Iron or something? A bit. Grace. Too much pain will spoil a pleasure. Please, Your Grace! Your Grace, if your uncle finds out, you sure? to find her. You will bring her to his chambers when you're finished and show him what you've done. Well, the same thing will happen to you. Begin. Ah! 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 He's disciplined. Well, this is my favorite whoremonger. Pray I haven't kept you waiting long. Your Grace. Now you do the Lannisters' bidding. Is that it? Tell me. 
my brother's body even cold before you secured your newest patron? I'm a practical man. Just not a loyal one. And who would you have me be loyal to? Your brother's corpse. I don't like you, Lord Baelish. I don't like your face. I don't like the words that come oozing out of your mouth. I don't want you in my tent one minute more than necessary. So tell me, why are you here? You can trust Brienne. Her loyalty comes without charge. You still have many friends at court, Your Grace. Many who believe Ned Stark erred by not supporting your claim. Now I understand. You know I have the numbers. You know I'm marching on King's Landing. When I take the throne, you hope to retain your position. And your head. I would give priority to my head. I understand that you don't like mm. it. So oh, well, that saddens me greatly. I do not come here to affection. When you march on King's Landing, you may find yourself facing a protracted siege or open gates. Your Grace. Lord Baelish. All of these tents look the same to me. Would you be so kind? It would be my pleasure. It took me weeks to learn my way around the camp. Twice I walked in on offices and stages of undress. And the moment I learn which tent is mine, we're on the move again. Your tent. Not our tent. The king snores, perhaps, or simply prefers solitude. Pleasures of command, no doubt. Four kings vying for the throne. I am not tutored in warfare, but basic arithmetic favors the side of the greater numbers. If war were arithmetic, the mathematicians would rule the world. I did notice your brother entering his grace's tent just now. The place of the king's guard is by the king's side. And on the night of your wedding, who was by the king's side then? You seem quite interested in our marriage. Your marriage is quite interesting. Not only to me, but to the realm. The marriage of a wealthy girl always breeds interest, if nothing else. You have never married, have you? I've been unlucky in my affections. That is not. Sadly. That is sad. Though perhaps it's for the best. The whole notion of marriage seems to confuse you. So allow me to explain. My husband is my king, and my king is my husband. Here is your tent, Lord Bailiff. Good night. <laughs> That's your luck. No, we're on another story. This isn't your horse. It was given to me by Thurn, the other of Oath, Horus. It is to the east, in the sea. When they were all sun, they would be honoured to receive your mothers of dragons, or dragons. Only that the desert around their walls is called the Garden of Bones. Every time the Carthian shut their gates, right. the this part called the other bones. What if she will ever get hit him to her family? There's dragons here. No, all the dragons are dead. What's that smell? 
dead people. Boom. So that's the dragon. So is that the garden of bones part then? We're ready to. He's dead. He was my son. My sister was three days ago. My husband the day before that. They take someone every day. What are you doing? He told me he stares at him every day. That's why he doesn't get picked. <laughs> You'll get packed him all. You die. You. Well, he's had to know that, eh? And do make yourself. Gold and silver in the village. I don't know. James. Didn't see it. Where's the Brotherhood? I don't know. Where is the Brotherhood? I don't know, please. Where is the Brotherhood? I don't know. Make up a lie, tell them anything. Which of the villagers aided them? I don't know. Who? Hunt. Who? I never saw. Who? I never saw. Please. Please stop. Please. Don't do it. Who? I didn't see anyone help him. Take it off! Take it off! I'll make that up. Bite him. That's better. You'd be very helpful. No, stop, please! What are you doing? Please, stop! Please, stop! No! No! Don't do everything! No! 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 Duffy. No. Cersei. Ill and pain. The hold. Please, Oliver. Some food just across the brain. <laughs> Oliver, the mountain. Yeah, keep reciting that. You'll get to where you want to go. Stark had not thought to find you in the Stormlands. I had not thought to be here, Lord Stannis. Can that truly be you? Who else might it be? When I saw your standard, I couldn't be sure. Whose banner is that? My own. I suppose if we use the same one, the battle would be terribly confusing. Why is your stag on fire? The king has taken for his sigil the fiery heart of the Lord of Light. Ah. Must be this fire priestess we hear so much about. Brother, now I understand why you found religion in your old age. Watch yourself, Renly. No, no, I'm relieved. I never really believe you're a fanatic. Charmless, rigid, a bore, yes, but, but not a godly man. You should kneel before your brother. He's the Lord's chosen. Born amidst salt and smoke. Born amidst salt and smoke? Is he a ham? That's twice I've warned you. Listen to yourselves. If you were sons of mine, I would knock your heads together and lock you in a bedchamber until you remembered that you were brothers. 
It is strange to find you beside my brother, Lady Stark. Your husband was a supporter of my claim. Lord Eddard's integrity cost him his head. And you sit beside this pretender and chastise me. We share a common enemy. The Iron Throne is mine. The last of us. All those that deny that are my foes. Old realm denies it from dawn to the wall. Old men deny it with their death rattle and unborn children deny it in their mother's wombs. No one wants you for their king. You never wanted any friends, brother. But a man without friends is a man without power. For the sake of the mother who bore us, I will give you this one night to reconsider. Strike your banners, come to me before dawn, and I will grant you your old seat in the council. I'll even name you my heir. Until a son is born to me. Otherwise I shall destroy you. There won't be i will be certain then so I'll be born. Look across those fields, brother. Can you see all those banners? You think a few bolts of cloth will make you king? No. The men holding those bolts of cloth will make me king. We shall see, Renly. Come the door. We shall see. Look to your sins, Lord Renly. The night is dark and full of terrors. Would you believe? I loved him once. Right, back to this. I thought we were welcome. If you heard a Dothraki horde was approaching your city, you might do the same, Khaleesi. Hold. Alright. Dothraki was a... Beast types can hang people. So I hoard. My name is Daenerys Stormborn of the House Targaryen. You know me, my lord? Only by reputation, Carlisi. And I'm no lord, merely a humble merchant. They call you the mother of dragons. And what should I call you? Oh, my name is quite long and quite impossible for foreigners to pronounce. I am simply a trader of spices. But we are the 13 charged with the governance and protection of Karth, the greatest city that ever was or will be. The beauty of mm. Karth is legendary. Karth. 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 <laughs> Karth. No, you don't. My friend, we have traveled very far. We have no food, no water. Once I see my people fed, I would be honored. Forgive me, mother of dragons, but no man alive has seen a living dragon. Some of my more skeptical friends refuse to believe your children. Even he looks like Voldemort. <laughs> I'm not a liar. Oh, I don't think you are. But as I've never met you before, my opinion on the matter is of limited value. No, oh, um, I get from the back. Is it Voldemort? Guests are treated with respect, not insulted at the gates. Then perhaps you should return to where you come from. We wish you well. What are you doing? You promised to receive me. We have received you. Here we are. And here you are. If you do not let us in, all of us will die. Which we shall deeply regret. But Karth did not become the greatest city that ever was or will be by letting Dothraki savages through its gates. Elise, please be careful. When my dragons are grown, we will take back what was stolen from me. 
and destroy those who have wronged me. We will lay waste to armies and burn cities to the ground. Turn us away, and we will burn you first. Ah. Oh, that's ah, a true Targaryen. Only as we bring fear from a little girl is unbecoming of the greatest city that ever was or will be. The discussion is over, Zaro, Zaro, and Doxos. The Thirteen have spoken. I am one of the Thirteen, and I am still speaking. The girl threatens to burn our city to the ah. ground, and you would invite her in for a cup of wine? She is the mother of dragons. Do you expect her to watch her people starve without breathing fire? I believe we can allow a few Dothraki through our gates without dooming our city. After all, here I am, a savage from the Summer Isles, and Karth still stands. Our decision is final. Very well. I invoke Sumai. Oh, what's that? I will vouch for her, her people. And her dragons, in accordance with the law. Battle. To death, maybe. Be it on your head. Welcome to Karth, my lady. Well, it's not a battle to death, then. New ally with them. Definitely say. Oh, whatever our name is. Oh, the guy with the rat. The seeds hanging there. Punishment, and you were good with the cleaver. You were a hero and a smuggler. A good act does not wash out the bad, nor a bad the good. Now listen, I'll try to teach my son. Mm, does he listen? To me? God's more. But if your red woman told him to leap from the crow's nest, she has a name. I trust you've not forgotten your smuggler's tricks. <laughs> I've lived within the law for 17 years. I'm going to be a smuggler this time. Any shore, any night. What am I bringing ashore? The red woman. No one must know what you do. And will not speak of this again. I am truly a grace. And always will be. But surely there are other ways, cleaner ways. Cleaner ways don't win wars. Afraid, Onion Knight. Someone once told me the night is dark and full of terrors. You carried more unpleasant cargo in your time. Are you a good man, Sir Davos Seaway? That say my parts are mixed, my lady. Yes, are you? Good and bad. If half an onion is black with rocks, it's a rotten onion. A man is good, or he is evil. What are you? Oh, good. I'm a knight myself, of sorts. A champion of light and life. Well, that must be very nice for you. Love your wife. 
Good at me. Yeah, you have known other women. Don't talk about my wife. I'm not. I'm talking about other women. Like me, Sir Devils. You want me. You want to see what's beneath this road. No, he doesn't. He doesn't want you at all. Strange that this Lord of Light asks you to work in the shadows. Shadows cannot live in the dark, Sir Devils. They are servants of light. The children of fire. And the brighter the flame, the darker they are. These weren't here before. They bar the passage. They can't bar our passage. Can you tell me to get naked? No. There's only one God, Sir Davos. And he only protects those who serve him. Oh my, what's happening? Is the ground attacking him or something? I'm just moving inside her. Do I get away? Don't. No. It's a demon. Demon. Well, thanks for watching this reaction, everyone. I'm actually shocked that Joffrey was sitting, he's supposed to be a queen. You know that, a threat to kill her and stuff. Making the two lasses fight each other. And that ending, that demon coming out of that woman's vagina part. Wow, so let's continue to episode 5. I'll see you in a wee bit, everyone. Bye.